I've used flower remedies off and on for a few years and they've helped me with a plethora of issues and I found them to be very effective until I got to a point where after you know feeling really good being on the remedies um, I had a traumatic experience I was sexually assaulted and I don't know what kept me from you know just reaching out as I would usually do to say hey this happened I want to work through this I need these remedies but for a long time I just kept it to myself I think the trauma of something like that is so great that you just you can't even deal with it to even reach out for help I really just held it and you know I went through the normal legal system stuff but as far as actually working on myself and healing from it I really felt a type of stuck where it didn't even occur to me that there was something that could be done to help me even though I had been taking remedies for at least two years so Amy finally checked in on me and it was right on time and I opened up about it and she sent me a customized remedy blend I think if she hadn't checked in on me, I probably never would have even asked for a remedy. Honestly, I just, I would have just held it all in. I didn't know how to deal with it. But within, gosh, like days of beginning the remedy, sometimes remedies work, you know, at different times or it takes a certain amount of time to start to feel the effects. But I guess with this one, because of the trauma I had experienced by the third day of taking it, I just began to release grief from just so much that I had repressed from that incident, from, you know, things that have happened over the years, from childhood, all kinds of trauma, that those types of traumas, as with rape or anything else, you just, you bury it. And you can't really access that in the same way that you could with not acceptable, but more open issues that we're you know more prone to talk about so abuse and and traumas of that nature are just really deeply buried to the point that I guess I couldn't even access them to deal with them or to even think to ask for a remedy that dealt with them but as the days went on things came up that I had not forgotten about but repressed that I didn't you know think about in my daily life or want to think about and I found myself just dealing with them and finally processing them so quickly and eventually you know feeling much more confident and just feeling a lot of the weight off of me you know weight that I didn't even realize I was carrying um, I took that remedy for about 30 days and I'm finishing up the second 30 days of it now and the change in me it just feels like not even I've gotten my old self back but like I've really uncovered so much that I found like some greater freer person that I just I haven't felt that type of relief from any of the traumas I've experienced since I guess I was a child before the traumas happened so it's really hard to explain how much the remedies help in situations like that but I think that in comparison to you know other methods that you might try after a trauma and counseling and all of those kinds of things which I've done no matter what other outside methods you attempt if you don't really get to the emotional root of it where you're able to actually bring up the issues to be healed I could have talked about it all day but I really couldn't spiritually deal with how it affected me on a deeper level. The same for a lot of the other grief that I've recovered from. Maybe, you know, even traumas that happened before I was able to articulate how I felt anyway. So, remedies are awesome. And <laughs> Amy is awesome. I really think for people who don't want to reach out or don't even know where, you know, to begin or how to deal with you know things that are unspeakable even to ourselves the best way to get to that is just to deal with something as gentle as a remedy